These are websites that make music easy to create for everyone. All you have to do is click a few buttons and suddenly you sound like an Oscar award winning music producer. But how does it work? These tools are made for kids and so they are very meticulously designed to be completely idiot proof. Meaning that it's pretty much impossible to create bad music. But I think that's some bullshit. Music is about learning and learning is about fucking up. And so I wanted to see whether it's actually possible to create bad music using these kid friendly tools and also how much of an idiot you would need to be to actually do this. So first up is Incredibox and this is literally the most basic music maker on the internet. All you have to do is drag and drop audio loops and no matter what you do, it should normally sound pretty good. But let's address the elephant in the room. Why the fuck do these people have such big lips? Are they mewing right now? And also, if you turn this symbol upside down, it literally looks like someone is mewing. But before I break this music generator with the worst song in existence, I want to first show you how easy it is to make amazing songs and that even a two-year-old could become the next Drake. So I'm going to make a banging song just by doing random stuff. Ready? Watch this. I'm going to close my eyes. Ready? Why is he saying the N-word straight off the bat? I, I can't even see anything to control it. So after I stopped this guy from going sicko mode with his racial slurs, I adjusted the song a little bit and had a proper listen to it. Why does this kind of sound bad already? So yeah, I somehow managed to create a horrible beat straight off the bat, even though I was meant to show you how even a two-year-old could make a banger. And so I needed to prove to myself that I wasn't as dumb as a two-year-old and that I could actually make a proper banger. <laughs> This still sounds kind of bad. Um, <laughs> I forgot to mention that with this website, they give you different genres of music to choose with different audio loops associated with them so that you can perhaps create better music. And so I switched genre. Is it me or is it the website? I don't even know. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It still kind of sounds shit. Why does this sound so bad already? So I did one more switch and I was finally able to prove to you how easy it is to create music with this kid's website. So, hey, see, this is this is a decent, this is a decent beat, okay? Now it's time to try create the worst song ever using the same genre. Why is his eyes like, whoa, whoa? Why, why is he saying, oh, yeah? oh, Okay, I, I thought it was just gonna, I thought, he said all over and I thought it was gonna say something else. What? I'm not gonna lie, the song was corny and cringe, but it wasn't the worst song ever. And so I switched genre to see whether I could actually create an awful beat. Why did that sound like the PH intro for a second? Why does this sound better? Like when I'm trying to make the bad beat, why does it sound better than when I was trying to make the good beat using this thing? Wait, what are we just, we're just leaving here? Leaving here to just, to just pop off and say his racial slurs by himself. Okay, well there you go. Here, here is the bad beat. Actually, you know, you know, you know, even better. This, 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 this beat. This beat goes hard. This beat. Just, just listen to it. So I don't know whether that was a cop out or not because I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of hard to make a genuinely trash song. But the next website gave me so many more opportunities to fuck everything up. So this is called Type Drummer, and the controls are extremely simple. Type a word, and it will make a beat out of it. So type something. Okay. Meh. <laughs> Okay, how does this work? So you type something. If you delete a letter. Oh, so the number of letters. What the fuck? Grammarly. So I guess the number of letters in the word, that's how many beats are in the bar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shit, that's not a word. Okay, word. You see, yeah, like, it's four beats. Load new samples. What happens? What the fuck? So if you click this button, it replaces all the drum sounds with audio snippets from a random SoundCloud song, but you couldn't even change the song. And when I went and had to listen to the full song, I couldn't even finish it because I saw this guy in the corner of my eye. And when I clicked on it, my PC completely bricked up and got stuck on the screen for 10 minutes. But enough tomfoolery. Before I create the worst beat in the world, I'm going to first show you how easy it is to create the best beat in the world without having any music knowledge at all. I think a good beat will be... If I type a word that has eight letters in it, then it'll be a very classic. Oh, wait, what if I just go crazy? Like, like, I'm trying to make a good beat. Why does this sound so bad? Okay, let's make a good beat. Okay, fuck. I wasn't meant to. Okay, what's a word that has eight letters in it? Like, watch, watch. Fuck. Oh. Wait, I just realized. So it turns out that each letter is associated with a specific sound. And so it's actually possible to customize your beat instead of just leaving it up to chance. Wait, wait, I just have to figure out which sound. So A is like the kick drum. I need to find a snare. 
Okay, that's it, that's it, that's it. So I realized that if I wanted my good beat to actually be on beat, I would have to space the kick and the snare with some random letters in between so that it would actually space everything out. Okay, that's just... Ready? What am I doing? Wait, what the fuck? So yeah, I needed to restart so that I could actually show you how easy it is to create a good beat. Fuck. Oh, okay, so this, okay, this is the real, okay, that J is the real kick drum. Then crash. Is that, is that P crash? Fuck. So I actually almost had a good beat here. I was just trying to find the letter that would make a sound similar to this so that I could end the beat with it. What the fuck? Okay, that was good enough for the amazing beat. Now let's try to create a horrendous beat. What if I do like the whole keyboard? It still sounds fine. Let's find the most fucked up sounds and let's 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 roll with them. That's pretty fucked. Oh, oh. Oh, this is a pretty bad sound. These letters, okay. Okay, so I got a bit distracted here because these sounds were horrible. No offense to this guy. Or, or this guy. What if we just do like this sound effect and then occasionally we do a clap? Not gonna lie, this was a hundred times easier to create a bad song compared to Incredibox, but it was almost impossible to create a good song. Next up, we've got Scribble.audio, which is another very simple music maker. If you put this website in front of a nine-year-old, he'll probably be able to figure it out in less than 10 seconds. I saw a photo of this. I think you just draw stuff and then it plays stuff. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Wait, that's me. Oh, shit. Wait, that's me. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, shit. That's me. How do I cancel? Cancel, cancel. Uh, delete, 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 delete. Please, delete, delete. Wait, wait, delete. Um, delete. Delete. Delete? How do I delete? Is there no way to, there's, there's really no way to delete. Okay, so I guess I have to restart every time I want to delete. Why the fuck did they not put a delete button on this website? That's like the only button I need. Anyways, let's see how easy it is to create a good song. Let's make a chord, let's make a chord, okay? Oh shit, that's the wrong note. Is this recoverable? Oh, that's an even worse note. Let's do a good chord. Oh shit, that's out of beat. Yes, I got it, I got it. What if I do this? Spicy black note. Oh no. Let's try to do a song, okay? This counts as the good beat, okay? So that actually wasn't too hard. You've just got to time it right. But now let's ruin everything and try to create the worst song in existence. Let's make the worst chord possible. Oh, wait, what? That's not a bad chord, is it? Oh, okay, that's bad, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Sorry you had to witness that, but you wanted a horrible beat, and so I, I gave you one. This is definitely the worst song so far, but there's one song coming up that I think will beat this one. So next we've got 108, which is an extremely simple website with just a single circle in the middle of it. All you've got to do is add elements of a drum beat to the circle. Oh, so, so it adds, so when you, oh, so when you, so kick, clap, hi-hat. Okay, okay, I can see an issue. You can't click two items at the same time whoa whoa what is this oh um oh it's ours recording oh shit oh shit oh shit it downloaded oh shit oh virus virus time to show you how easy it is to create a good beat and this time i'm actually getting serious why is there such a big delay i don't like this i don't like it Wait, there's such a big delay between my keyboard and then okay let's just do here oh okay i've, I've noticed an issue since it goes around in a circle, I, I have to space each of these per- Okay, fuck it. We're using a metronome. Fuck, how did I- How did I still fuck it up? 
Holy fuck, why is this so bad? Okay, if I just click with my mouse, it's fine. What the fuck? Oh, okay, this is this decent. Okay. Fuck. Shit. See, it's pretty easy, honestly. It's actually, it's honestly like not hard. You just click, 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 and then hope something works well. So that was surprisingly easy, and I didn't really have to try that hard because I realized that each element would snap into place pretty perfectly around the circle, and this time there was actually a delete button. But now it's time to fuck everything up and somehow create a horrible beat. Uh, what do I just spam everything to begin with? This is just something random, random, random. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm going super. Oh my gosh, the bar is just flashing everything. Okay, so that was too easy, but let's actually create a bad beat that sort of looks like we're trying to make a good beat. What's the best way we can turn a simple beat maker into like a horrible thing? I guess, I guess making the beats like not even, like we just go like one, like this, yeah. Beats will sound bad if you just like stack things like net, like really close together in a bunch that like just sounds unnatural. So I'm just gonna try to get one here. Okay, got him. Let's leave like a like a gap, an awkward gap of sounds here and here, and let's like stack this bit, this these two bits. Why does this sound like not like too bad? This beat actually honestly doesn't sound bad. Um, I guess the only way to ruin this is just to go like this. So it was actually surprisingly difficult to create a bad beat unless you just spammed every single sound. This next website is called Typertone and it's sort of similar to Type Drummer except this one focuses more on creating melodies rather than creating beats. Let's see how easy it is to create an amazing club banger. Okay, so it's similar. So okay. Wait, what is this? Oh, so you can change the audio as well. I wonder whether it's alphabetical order. No, nope. okay, we gotta guess what each note is. Let's do, uh, I'm gonna try to do Mary Had a Little Lamb. Oh, here, here, here. Wait, what if it, bro, what if to, to make a good song, it makes me type a, like a racial slur? Surely not, okay. Boom. I think that's it. Let's, let's hear it, let's hear it. What? Boom, okay. That was pretty easy. The only difficult thing was trying to figure out what sounds made what letters. Oh, fuck. But now let's go sicko mode and cook the worst song ever. L let's type random stuff and then let's see what it gives me. Come on, let's see how, let's hear it. It honestly doesn't sound too bad because it's like the actual like sound pack is not too bad. So that was the first problem. Since the sound files are so elegant, no matter what you type, it's pretty hard to create trash. What do I just make it like sound really annoying? And what's one of the most annoying sounds in the world? A microwave. I guess the best way to do it is to. I don't know whether this was cheating or not, but I still made a horrible song, so don't hate the player, hate the game. So this next website is called Ocean Waves, and it's a little bit more complicated than the previous ones, but they still give you a pretty simple structure to follow. Basically, you drag and drop sounds, and you get to choose the specific beats where the sound plays. What is this? So this is, um, there's a loop already here, and then you have to just, like, click when you want it to come up. So you can play it. Ah, oh, and then we'll play it. Time to show you how easy it is to create the best beat in the world. Fuck. Most hits. Dripping tap. Why is this one of the most popular sounds? Fuck, we, we put... Okay, fuck, let's put it in here. Okay, this is... Okay, this is simple. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, this this is good. Okay, this will be the kick. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, wait, I can feel... I can actually feel like... Okay, this time, I'm actually going to make a good beat, okay? No! Oh, okay, wait, fuck. Wait, that, is that KSI? It's actually Skepta in his 2014 hit single titled That's Not Me, featuring JME, you fucking racist. No, that's not me. No, no. Okay. No. Hat. Okay, this is good. Okay, let, no. let's, 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 let's make a good beat. Let's make a good beat. Cowboy, that could be useful. Wait, but I'm, I'm, I'm limited. Okay, we're gonna get, let's get rid of the no. Nah. Boom, 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 and boom. 
So that was easier than I expected, but it's pretty much drag and drop, and so it's pretty hard to make a bad song. But let's try to make a song so horrible that it will make your ears bleed. I saw in the sound library, there were a bunch of a bunch of random sound effects here. What if we just keep the same beat, but then we just replace the sounds? What, what is this, Skype? <laughs> what? This could be a good hat. Oh, here. What is a spooky synth loop? Is it actually spooky? Oh my god! Frying eggs, what the fuck is this? Okay, we go, we go, this, this, this has to be here. Let's play it, let's see what it sounds like. No, 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 no. That, 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 that's not even a bad, that's a horrible beat. We're trying to make bad beats. Okay, so I felt like leaving the bad song like this wouldn't really be a proper challenge. And so I reset and started from scratch. iMac start sound. <laughs> oh, okay, this is good. Wait, wait, wait. What if I make an entire beat out of startup sounds? Okay, so here's the actual plan. I'm gonna create a horrible song, but I'm gonna actually make it sound like a song by giving it a decent drum beat, but then fucking everything else up. PS startup beat. This is not bad, this is actually not bad. So yeah, um, bad beat. So now time for the final music maker and we have Google Chrome's very own song maker. But this might be the most complex one. Basically, you have two instruments, the drum beat and the melody. But with the melody, you can't drag and drop anything. You have to write the notes yourself. What is this? So this is the beat? So this must be the, um, so this must be the controls for the notes. So what happens if you press play? It goes from left to right. It doesn't, it doesn't even sound bad, like that's how easy it is to, to do this. Let's see whether it's actually that easy to create a good song. Oh yeah, that's fine. Let's make it... Let's make, oh shit, fuck. Oh shit. Let me just try and make a song. There's no sharp notes, I can't, I, I can't do it accurately. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, enough fooling around, let's actually create a banger. How do we make a good song? Um, do I have the ability to make a good song? Hmm. So here's my strategy. Step one, write some random notes. Step two, listen to any bits of the melody that I actually like. Okay, I like this, I like this. Step three, clean up the melody and repeat the same block twice if I need. Oh, 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 oh. I think this is the beat, okay? This is, this is the decent beat, okay? It's not the perfect, but it's, it, it shows you, you don't have to, like, you just scribble in anything, and you can make any beat. Okay, maybe it wasn't too easy, but let's see whether it's easier to create a horrible song. I wonder what happens if you just, like, I wonder what happens if you just do this. Three, two, one. All right, this is not bad. Let's make a really bad chord. Why does that sound good? Fuck, I need it to sound bad. I, I think this is the easiest way to make a, a, a something sound bad. Like that, okay. Why does it sound- it actually- it, it doesn't sound horrible. I, I wouldn't mind- I, I, I wouldn't be opposed to listening to this, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, this actually sounds pretty good, like... It's, it's, it's honestly a little bit hard to make bad sounding songs. So the song still didn't sound that bad, but I had a hidden ace up my sleeve. I think I know the best way to do it. Okay, now let's layer the notes on top to make it just like sound even more, like just like slightly more cursed every pass through. Let's do like the really bad one, like, like... Oh, okay, this is... Okay. Wait, okay. I wonder what it sounds like on different instruments. Let's change it. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 